So our primary goal when we got here was to make a really detailed map of the known vent field. As I wrote to my co-chief for the next leg, she wanted to know how things are going, and I said, things aren't going easy, but they're going really well. <laughs> We're going to go and get that? We have a line that goes right Good, 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 good. And we now have a really great map of a part of the vent field that shows the different biological communities, how they relate to hard rock and soft sediment, where the venting is. I mean, this map is incredible. I've never seen anything like it. And that's actually how we figure out where the interesting spots are. We take it with a large scope and then we zoom down with AUV, then we zoom down even more with the ROV. There are clams down there that are about this big and they burrow through the sediment. They leave little tracks that you can easily see with a camera. Our bathymetry is so good, we can see those clam tracks in the bathymetry. It's just amazing. <laughs> it's really cool. We took some spectacular video. We were able to film what are called flange pools. Sometimes, if the chimney is back here, water is coming out here, and this thing is growing this way, and it's a flat surface, and water, hot water will pool up under it because the hot water is more buoyant than the cold seawater, you get this pool of hot water, and then it, as it comes over the lip of the flange, you get these, what we call un, upside down waterfalls. The water under these flange pools is 290 degrees, and this far away, it's two degrees centigrade seawater. So incredible temperature gradients. Truly, <laughs> just spectacular. <laughs> Hydrothermal vents are an expression of submarine volcanism, and that is a globally important process that has always played and continues to play a vital part in, in the shaping of the surface of our planet and our environment. The highlights are still to come because we've been doing exploration dives with another tool, the AUV, that flies and, and maps at a bigger area. And, and one of the things we're hoping to find are new vent fields. Maybe we're wrong, but I'm really excited to go look. So we had outputted the ROV with a low altitude survey sled, and that was the first leg of the mission. And now we're moving on to a more exploratory section of our trip. Estamos sumamente emocionados porque acabamos de descubrir un nuevo campo de chimeneas hidrotermales en la parte sur de eh, la cuenca Pescadero. Es un campo eh, pues adicional al que ya previamente conocíamos aquí en la cuenca Pescadero. Parece tener las mismas características en cuanto a temperatura. Te, eh, medimos 287 grados, mientras que se encuentra un poquito más al norte tiene 291 grados. We found some really cool spots, actually. We found places with a lot of oasisia, which are these tube worms. We found a lot of hydrothermal vents. We have found this like really cool looking cave, and we don't have names for them yet, but pretty, I'm sure they'll have names soon. We have mapped a significant portion of the vent field. We have some really good exploration targets. Um, this cruise is going really well. <laughs>